Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today's video is sponsored by Cricut. However, all projects and opinions are my own. Today, I'm going to use the Cricut Joy to make a cute handmade gift. It's perfect for grandmas, great grandmas, moms, that type of thing, great grandpas, fathers, just about anybody on your holiday gift giving list. So we are going to use the Cricut Joy and, and then I am going to use the Smart Vinyl with the Joy. So just because the Joy is small doesn't mean you can't make those larger gifts with the Smart Vinyl because you can get those long lengths. Now, this project can also be made with the, any of the Explorer series, with the Maker, any Cricut machine can actually make this. So don't feel limited if you only have the Joy. What are we gonna make? We are going to make this sign. I'm gonna make one that says Great Grandma and then we're gonna personalize it. So we're gonna personalize it with the great grandkids' names across the center. So I love using my Cricut to make personalized gifts for the holidays because it's so easy to make something that is all for them, right? So this has the great grandkids' names across the center, which is unique to that person and makes this gift extra special. And all this is, is a board cut to size with vinyl on it. Simple project, inexpensive, yet when you add that personal touch, it makes it a really special gift that they'll treasure forever. So let's get started making this project. For this project, you'll need your Cricut Joy or another Cricut machine will work. I have a board that's cut to about like 11 and a half by four and a half. That's the size that I like for my sign. Any size will work for this. Remember that the Joy has a maximum width, but of course you can make it any length that you want. I'm gonna use some stain on my board and then I'll need some permanent smart vinyl. I'm gonna use powder blue and teal for my colors and then the transfer tape to go along with that. And then you'll need a weeding tool as well as a scraper to press down your vinyl. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is design our project in Cricut Design Space. So let's head there and do that. Okay, this top is what we're going for. So that's what we're gonna make. And I just figured it would be easier to kind of look on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the great grandma. So this is actually, the font is Latin, XCNBT. That is a Cricut font. So we can just add text and it's actually already this font. But if it was not, so if it was not this font, we would just pull down here, change to Cricut fonts and find that Latin. So if you, you can actually just search right here. And so you could pick this one if it wasn't already that one. So the second thing I wanna to do to this is to make it the right size for the sign I'm making. So I wanna make it about 10 and a half by four, I think is what I made this one, I did. So for this one, we'll unlock and we'll do 10 and a half by four. So that makes that in the same size and the right size for our sign. Now, the next thing I did is actually make it the material color because I was playing with material colors I wanted for my sign and just wanted to get a good visual and design space. You can absolutely skip that step and just leave it as black as long as the names and the great grandma are two different colors so they cut out of two different colors of vinyl. Now let's make the grandkids names. So what we're gonna do is add text once again and this time we'll add all of the names of the grandkids, great grandkids, whatever you're doing. And next we want to find a font. So we want a script font. Um, let's look at a few of these. So like this one wouldn't be too good because it kind of overlaps. Um, this one is super close together, but there's no like long tails. So we're looking for something with a long, longer tails coming off of it. So I like this Merlot font for this project and you could definitely scroll through design space, look at other fonts, but this is one that I like for this. And so what we can do is adjust the letter spacing a little bit. So we want to get that where 
at least some of these are in the lo right location. So at about at negative 0.2, we can see that this A and the Z are together in the right location. So that's approximately right. So the next thing we want to do is make sure this is approximately the right height. And I think it is. And then we want to click advanced and we're going to ungroup this to letters. Now we will need to move each letter individually. And I like to choose the letters I want to move and just use the over arrow on my keyboard if I can. That keeps it the same height, just moves it over slightly. And so something like this N, we just move that over once. But some of these other ones, the A just probably once, but this A may be twice. So I may have to hit that over button twice to get it over to the correct location. So I'll just repeat this for all of these letters. Okay, so after these are all in the right location, you may need to space out the names a little bit more to accommodate the hearts. So we may just have to bump these over one. And then at the beginning of each word, we'll need a tail. I like the E for this. So I'm gonna copy an E, move that over here. And then I'm gonna use a circle's fine, just some kind of shape to slice this. So we're gonna make this circle small. We'll bring this over, be a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna place that where it slices off a portion of this E. And we'll pick the E in the circle and click slice. So all we're after, we can delete everything off except for that little tail. And then we can paste that We'll need three of those. Then we'll also need a heart. So we uh, will go over here and pick a heart. And we will size that appropriately. And I think I used about a uh, 0.2 maybe. That doesn't look right. Okay, it's about a 0.4. So now, once again, we need three of these. So now we can place a heart in between each name and it should overlap the last letter of the previous name. So now I can tell on this one that this last name will have to move out just a little bit more. And then we'll move these tails over into place. So you want it to connect the heart to the letter of the, the first letter of the next name. So we'll just move each of those just manually into place. And then once everything looks good, we're gonna pick everything and we're going to click weld. Now, after you click weld, you want to make sure that everything looks okay. So do your letters look okay? Is everything overlapped? Did anything mess up when you clicked weld? If it did, undo, move the letters apart or closer together, and then weld again. So this looks pretty good. So the only other thing I did was put it in the name, picked both, align, and center that up. And then you can play with the colors, like I said, depending on what color vinyl that you have on hand or what color vinyl you want to use. Play with the colors in here, get it to where it looks good. And now we can cut it on our Cricut and apply it to the sign. Now that your project's designed, we can just stain this board first. And I'm just going to stain it with an oak stain. This is a gel stain, which I like because it's a bit thicker. We'll just spread this stain out allow it to sit at 
30 seconds to a minute, and then we'll just rub the excess back off. Allow that to dry completely, and then once that's dry, we can add the vinyl to our sign. Now you can also paint this if you would like. So if you don't like the stained look, go ahead and break out your craft paint and paint your board in any color that you would like. You can definitely customize this project to fit what you like or to match your, like if you're giving it as a gift, make it to match their home. So I'll just keep staining, then wipe away that excess, and then we'll look at adding the vinyl to our sign. And once this is sat a few minutes, we'll just wipe away all the excess and allow it to dry completely before continuing. With the sign set aside to dry, we can cut our Smart Vinyl. So I'm gonna cut the powder blue first. And we'll just, I have the project pulled up I've chosen Smart Vinyl as my material. There's no need to mirror your design for vinyl. So you'll just start pushing the material into your Cricut Joy and it automatically pulls it in. Then it measures to make sure you've had enough, you have enough material. Then you just press go right on your computer or even your mobile device. Then once it's done cutting, we'll just unload this first material and then it'll pull up our second mat and we'll repeat the exact same process. Then once this one's done cutting, I just unloaded it then we can weed away all the excess on both of these materials. For each of your colors, you'll just want to weed away all the excess vinyl. So everything around the outside edge, as well as anything like the centers of letters. So we'll just peel this back. Weeding tools make this super easy. We'll just continue on with all of this first color as well as the second color, and then we'll look at how to transfer this to our sign. Here's both of the pieces of vinyl completely weeded. So we wanna start with the top layer, which is going to be our names, and we wanna put those approximately in the center of a piece of transfer tape. Now the Cricut Joy also has its own transfer tape. That's the right width, and it's also long. So we can get the, one of these long pieces to help transfer our longer sign. And I'm just going to kind of start on one end. And then press this down as I go. Just peeling the transfer tape back and pushing it with my squeegee. Burnish on both the front as well as the back. And one trick for the smart vinyl, so it can be a little tricky to get it off of this backing paper, just run a hair dryer. Just run that across the back a little bit just to get it heated up. And a lot of times it'll peel back much better just with it being a little bit warm. And you may have to heat it up a little bit more like when you get towards the end. So I just cut this piece off. Heat that up a little bit more burnish it again, and then see if it won't just pick right up.
All right, so there we have our names on our transfer tape. And now I need to add that to the great grandma. And so we want this approximately in the center. And as you can see, this is gonna kind of curl up, right? What I like to do is just temporarily tape this to my work surface. So that holds it flat. So I can line it up without it curling. Now that that's taped down, the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of mark the center. So I'm just gonna use a ruler and a Sharpie. We're just gonna see So two inches is right there and that's the center. And then I'll mark it on this side as well. And I'll mark it in the middle. So now I know approximately where the center is all the way across. And then I can lay my name right over and find that center. And once you found the center, you can just lay that down. And you don't wanna lay it on the tape. So like this edge over here is gonna lay on that tape, so I'm just gonna pick that up. Then we can pick the entire thing up. Once again, Burnish that down really well. We're gonna repeat the same procedure. So I'll heat it up on the back and then peel this backing paper off. So here is our vinyl all on our transfer tape. And now we need to put it on our sign. So this is the stain sign. It's completely dry, ready for our vinyl. And so we just wanna make sure this is in the center and straight before we put it down. Then once we have it in that center, we can just drop it into place. And I like to kind of start in the middle, work out, start in the middle, work out. We're gonna press this down really well. Then you can just peel back the transfer tape, leaving that vinyl on your sign. And then finally, you just wanna use this to press it down even more. And then it's ready to give to anyone on your holiday gift list. So this is such a simple idea and yet, it's super cute. I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make this right in Cricut Design Space. All you need is two fonts that are already in Cricut Design Space, the heart, which we drew right in Cricut Design Space, add those, weld them all together, and all of a sudden you have a personalized sign right out of Cricut Design Space, all with your Cricut Joy, Cricut Explorer, or Cricut Maker. But remember, just because this Cricut Joy is small, doesn't mean it can't make amazing things, including a sign that is perfect for all that holiday gift giving. And remember, you can make this in any size. I took the dimensions of the board that I cut and I made my vinyl to fit. So maybe you have a board in your scrap pile. It's a little bit longer. Just make your words to fit that. Don't think you have to have a sign that's exactly the size that I used. So that means that all that wood in your scrap pile all of a sudden became a handmade gift idea. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, how to make this sign in Cricut Design Space, how to use smart vinyl, how to transfer that to your wood piece, you can ask those in the comment section below. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have Cricut videos every week and you don't wanna miss any of those. So now, my sign's ready to give as a gift. Right now, this vinyl's permanent, doesn't need any sealer or anything. It's ready to wrap up and give as a gift for the holidays. I love 
getting a head start on my holiday crafting. And if you do too, pick up some vinyl, snag some wood out of your scrap wood pile, and start making some personalized signs for everybody on your holiday list. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.